an efficient, uh, efficient team, and I thought that he was doing that. You guys need to go to Coach Holgerson. No, we're here for you, Coach. <laughs> but I, I thought he was. Um, I thought he played overall very well. You know, it, I think this is a mature team. I thought he handled the rain delay with maturity. I thought he handled the first half adjustments with maturity. Uh, I thought he played overall very well. You, you mentioned that the, the clock killing drive in the second quarter, followed by the long rain delay. A lot of guys can get in a little bit of a funk, and it was clear Will wasn't in that. Right. I, you know, I thought that for. I kept talking to him that the team that's going to handle the adversity the best is going to win this game. And I thought there was a lot of adversity thrown at us in that first half. Uh, minimal possessions, rain delay, um, and it, he's such a calm, collected kid. I don't think it affected him in any any way. And uh, as you guys can see, he came out the second half and he caught fire and uh, played a solid game. Happy for a kid like that to come home to Charlotte, put on a performance like that in his you know first game of his Heisman campaign. Exactly. Couldn't be more happier for him. I know that means a lot to him to put on a show in front of his hometown, and uh, you can just see all the hard work that he's put into it and uh, just to kind of start his you know Heisman campaign his senior season off like that uh, I couldn't be happier for a kid especially in the Queen City. One of the traits of him like in high school around here was he always made Thanks. everything look easy and in the second half those first few drives it really looked like point A to point B really quickly everything kind of looked like it was clicking what did you see in this? Did you talking about the first uh, first half he came out? Yeah. Um, yeah, he's just, he, he's a kid. I remember last year going in our first game, I couldn't tell if he was like excited to play the game, if he was nervous or what. He just, he's the same demeanor every single time. He went out there, uh, uh, was on point with what they're throwing at him because uh, we had no idea. We had a few game plans kind of going into it uh, with answers for any possible thing that they could throw at us. And uh, I thought he handled leverage and uh, situations and in terms of efficiency, when to take the shots, when to, to take the high percentage throw. And uh, I thought he uh, managed it pretty well from the get. Were you happy with the way he was able to spread the ball around? Had a lot of different guys bringing catches, and I know, I know. depth was something you weren't happy with last year. You know, you go into a game and you're not really expecting to spread it around like that. Um, but you know, it, it was pretty cool to see uh, T.J. Simmons take that first touchdown, which uh, actually was a design play for David Sills. Uh, David had to take a breather. T.J. came in, he caught it, hit up the sidelines. It was great to see that. It was good to see the tight ends get involved. Uh, just overall, uh, you know, it was a good team effort where they, they all contributed in some way. What did you make of going against Jeremy Pro and his defense? Uh, anything stood out to you? Uh, they're, they're a solid team, man. They are. You can. Uh, uh, you can see that he's going to turn that program around. Uh, it, uh, it, it just needs a, a little more time. You know, we were a very mature team that came, that came into this, and and where Coach Pruitt's at, uh, it's a very sound and it's a tough defense, and he caught us off guard in that first half. I uh, once say they keep playing complimentary football. That's going to be a tough team to beat because you know, they they minimized our possessions at the beginning, um, and once that happens, you know, they can run away with a lot of games. Yeah, penalty on the kickoff just just before half. Let's change your strategy at all. Um, moved it from the 10 to the 25. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, you could open up a little bit more. You know, I really, on that last drive of the first half, my mentality changed around like the 40, 50 yard line where I flipped it into 10 personnel and tried to get some chunk yards at the end of, end of that half. Uh, that was the kind of the story of the first half. We, you know, we were 0 of 3 on third down and we weren't scoring touchdowns in the red zone. And that was something that we need to clean up. I thought they, uh, they came out and they handled it well in the second. Apparently, you just need the hour for every halftime, man, right? I know. I, I wish we worked that in. <laughs> but I, again, that's it comes down to I think we're a very mature team. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I've been in those rain delays before where uh, the, they've lost focus and they're playing video games, they're watching TV, and they're doing it right. These kids were they're locked in. Uh, they were taking their recovery seriously. Um, they're hydrating. They're making sure that whatever they did, they could be ready to play uh, that second half. And uh, I handled our meetings. Pretty well too. Is that is sharper third quarter you've had uh, in a while. I mean, that was sort of one of the knocks in the previous years. Is that you know? Uh, you know, I never look at it that way. It's all about just playing the, like the next series, the next play. And I thought our adjustments were good, and uh, we capitalized on that first drive, which we were talking about. We needed to start fast because we we didn't have very many possessions in that first that first half. And uh, you know, we just we scored. They celebrated. They came off, and they wanted more. They kept having good discussions, and. Uh, uh, it, it just kept opening up more stuff. So it, uh, there's a lot of uh, solid communication, not just with the staff, but with the players as well. Did Sills, did they tip off the corner blitz? Or did Will see it coming to Sills? Oh, we, it was kind of 
luck of the draw, had it set up for it. Mm -hmm. You know, and Will recognized it. Gary chipped the, the blitzer on the way out on the motion. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sills, I didn't see it, but he told me he put a pretty good move on him and got some good separation. Did you plan him inside? Really? Did you need any of that extra time at halftime? You talked about, hey, it'd be nice to have more going in, but then... <laughs> no, it, what we did, it, we didn't add any new plays. You know, it, it, what was so hard in the first half is I couldn't tell you how they're going to play us. You know, so I, that's what I told them the night before about there's so many unknowns to this game. I don't know how much man, how much blitz they're going to do you, how much four down, how much three down. And they ended up over the course of the game throwing every single thing at us. You know, and and I, I applaud them for that in a way of not just sitting back and want, like, once we find some exposure, they changed it up a lot on us. So our, we kept our kids on our toes the whole time, and and uh, I thought Will was pretty dialed into tendencies and 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 found uh, some times to expose them, like the that unbelievable catch that Gary made in the open field. That was a check by Will. And, um, and that, that's what we talked about because they're in so much man and zone, they're trying to call the perfect play in terms of when we were going to run the ball, they're going to load the box, and when we we're going to play pass, like when we we're going to, he thought when we were going to pass it, he was going to play some two man and match zones and stuff. So uh, it was a good balance. You know, I thought the kids hung in there and they thought they did well. Thanks, coach. They're ready for you. You had 24 plays.